guys what is up it is i the concrete catwalk for those of you who are new to my channel welcome i love all things thrift vintage new nearly new estate sailing sailing you name it i love it to my catwalkers Mwah! welcome back to a new video this sunday those of you who are newly subscribed thank you so much for coming along together on this journey okay so you guys you know when i want to talk about some things with you I either put it in our notebook, notes book, which is the black velvet book that has the word notes across the front, or I will jot it down in my light bulb book because it's a quick reference to something that I just want to have a general discussion with you guys about to get your opinion of. And this is an interactive channel. I love when I get comments on things. I love when you guys ask questions, when we can engage and have a dialogue about things that we're all interested in and want to know about. This topic is an interesting one. It's one that I touched on in a few videos that I've posted regarding handbags, luxury handbags in particular, that are beat in, worn in, broken in, and suddenly those bags have been on a serious uptick of a search now i'm not talking just about throwback vintage bags like your chloe ediths and your balenciaga city bags motorcycle bags no no it has gone a little bit deeper than that and it seems that many people are searching for luxury bags that are in less than good condition it is a category called fair which is one that i search frequently myself because I am a big fan of handbags, luxury handbags in particular, that have been through some things. Buying a brand new handbag used to be something that I did when I was younger because I wanted that experience. But as I've gotten older, my tastes have changed, my lifestyle has changed, and I need to move and do what I need to do with a quickness and having a bag be something that I am agonizing over is not one of those things. I want to get into this the right way from going across all of the resale sites, whether it be Vestiaire Collective, The Real Real, What Was, Trade Z at one point, and some others. There is this category called fair that used to not be on any one of those sites because if a bag was less than good condition and didn't go above good to excellent to pristine, most people what? Most people weren't even going to look at that kind of bag. And usually sites like those would not even think about taking bags like that. And how ironic that towards the end of it almost feels like 2022 and strong in 2023 and even stronger now in 2024, there is a big search for items that are in a condition that is what I would consider questionable. Questionable, maybe for some, desirable for me, because it's one of those things where I feel that when bags are in a condition where they are fair, you tend to set yourself up to get a really good deal. I have two examples that I want to show you before I get a little bit deeper into the discussion. And the first bag that I want to show you is my vintage Chanel Jumbo Maxi Lambskin Bag. My discussion about this bag, I will post the video here and I get into a deep dive about why I almost did not purchase this bag and why I debated whether I should purchase this bag. Some of you who've been with me for a little while, you know all about this bag. But for those of you who are new, I almost passed up on this bag because as you can see, this bag definitely has been through it. There is tarnish on the handles. The CC is tarnished. There is no more puffiness on the diamond quilted stitching. She's rough around the edges. She's had a little paint work done. But the reason why I said yes and purchased this bag is because 
Some things were scaring me. Chanel had just started going into this whole mad dash with all of the increases, which I refuse to even pay attention to at this point because I specifically stay in the pre-love market. The second thing with coupled the escalating price is these are still at a stance where it is difficult to find these in a price point that is comfortable. People say, oh, you know, the demand for luxury Chanel and all of this and things in, in terms of resale has kind of slowed down. It has in some regards, but there is still a demand, especially for the vintage pieces coming out of the Lagerfeld era. Most people are looking for because you get if this were a bag that was in really good condition, you would still get the gold plating in full for the most part on a bag that was good to excellent to almost pristine condition. For a bag like this, when I saw this and I saw that the price point was sitting roughly at around $2,200, I said to myself, if you pass up on this bag, you're not going to be able to get something in an arena where one, it meets what it is that you're looking for. I wanted a bag that was coming from an original owner and she basically did not do too much to the bag because when I saw this and it was an original owner, I started asking questions like, was the bag painted? And yes, there were some touch up pieces on this and you can obviously see that, especially around the corners and on the sides. But what I love about this bag is other than that, they did not do anything else to this bag. It was left as is. And it was something that when I saw this bag, I knew that I could vibe with it because once I got it and I took it out the box, I was shocked, I will admit. I was shocked concerning its condition. It's one thing when you see it on the screen. It's another thing when you get it in person. But the shock quickly wore off and as you can see, I have done nothing to change the demeanor or the silhouette of this bag. I have done nothing to do that. You know, for some, this would be a less than desirable silhouette of a bag to carry around. But for me, it's absolutely perfect. And the reason why it is perfect is because this is the way that it is. I don't feel comfortable putting this bag through a whole spa treatment to bring her up to a perfect quality look because to me that just is a disservice to the bag and it just makes it look like you're trying to have something that was once pristine, beautiful, off the shelf, everything was in alignment. And I am not trying to recreate that feeling with this bag. I want this bag to feel, and it is the way that I feel with it, it's comfortable, it's like home. And it's no fuss and it's no muss. So that leads me to my Hermes Retorn Kelly Bag 28. Now let me tell you this about this Kelly Bag. This was purchased off of Vestiaire Collective. So when I decided that I wanted a Kelly, I just immediately began just looking to see what was out there. So this bag popped up. I looked at the condition that the bag was in. The, tear, the tears that are on the side of the flap, the separation that's back here, a little bit of touch up work that had been done to the handle and to the corner of the bag. But the thing that made me pull the trigger with this bag was not just the price point, but the age of the bag and the true test of the longevity of the craftsmanship. This bag is from 1974. So do the math and you have a bag that is well on her way to being almost 50 years old. And that is the thing that I love about this bag is it has been around that long. I had no idea me and this bag were gonna cross paths. And when I decided to buy the bag, condition and all, you know, looking at the scratches on the sangles and just all of the things that this bag could have potentially gone through with the prior owner, 
that's the part that made me super excited about it. And this bag was also one that was listed as fair condition on Vestiaire Collective's site. And it's so interesting to me that now, and I'm going to sit her back here, it's so interesting to me that now many, many people are, are not even considering bags that are either brand new or in excellent or in pristine condition. They're looking at good to fair. And I think that that is interesting because what happens when you start looking in those categories is you begin to find things that are going to be able to work with whatever fiscal situation that you're sitting in. What it also does gives you ability to make a decision as far as willingness to find something that's going to fit in a specific price point that you're interested in, or if because of the fact that the condition of the bag, even though it's at that certain price point, it may not sit right with you and you decide that you want to add a couple more dollars in order to find something that is going to indeed fit what it is that you're looking for as far as condition of a bag goes. To me, I think that there's nothing wrong with a bag that is in fair condition because theoretically a fair condition bag is almost like a project bag. It's almost like a bag that you can take and decide, am I going to get this repainted? Am I going to get the leather clean? Am I going to get this reconditioned? Am I going to go do this with the change? It is strictly up to you how you want to do it. For myself, I prefer bags that have a story to tell. I prefer bags that they are telling you, hey, I've been through it. You're meeting me where I'm at. Does that work for you or does that work? Or does that not work? Does that work for you or does that not work for you? And for me, that is something that I have always loved in handbags is when a bag has a story to tell. It does not have to be a luxury bag even to tell a story. Give me a good weathered leather bag. Guys, I'm saying this to you to lay down the foundation of, and this is something that I always do when I look for a handbag, no matter what it is. If the bag has history, a little bit of wear and tear, keep an open mind with whether you would consider picking up something like it because ultimately what that leads to is saving you a lot of money in the long run. And the pre-month market offers such a wide selection of different types of bags, whether it be Chanel or Hermes or Fendi or on and on and on down the line. You could potentially save yourself thousands of dollars if you keep an open mind and you look for things that potentially could be a diamond in the rough. And I always fall on the side of when I look at a bag and I see what the potential is, I always say, hmm, maybe it's better to just err on the side of the potential. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are about fair condition luxury handbags or any handbags that are in fair condition. Are they bags that you consider? Are they bags you look at? Or are they not something that you would consider just have too much weathering to them and it's just not your style? Let me know in the comments below your thoughts either way about how you feel. You do not want to miss out on anything that I post. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I post videos every Sunday, so if you do not want to miss out, tap that and you will receive notifications each time I post a new video. I post videos every Sunday. So if you do not want to miss out, you know what to do. Head on over to Poshmark, check out my closet. I am Concrete Catwalk on Poshmark. If you see anything there that you might be interested in, feel free to leave me a message there or you can head on over to IG. I am the Catwalks Concrete on Instagram. Feel free to DM me there if there's anything you see in my closet. Thank you so much for stopping by this week. Be safe. See you all next Sunday. Bye for now.